Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim or Sim Naya, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing correct today. We'll be talking something very important, and it's about a video that I found really very interesting because sometimes I feel like some pop color people are very wild. I really don't understand how they get very, very upset when when it comes to some close practices and they are not invited they really get very wild and crazy number one is that uh, some places or some spaces are not meant for you it is not because people do not want you or it is not because you want to call them race disease because you are not invited in that space and all that but because you are not supposed to be there so why not respect yourself and respect people's spirituality and all that and get yourself out of that place i have seen so many pop colored people who went ahead to uh, summon african goddess or probably uh, you know some gods or something like that and did not make it alive and all that and then this particular one is like you know saying that our uh, spirituality is not subject to one one's race and all that but the reality is that some spirituality is subject to some people's race and all that because you know nothing about that how whatever they are worshiping or something or the spirituality they believe in you don't know anything about it so for that reason you are not even supposed to encourage or go there to someone what you know nothing about i see some of them trying to summon their ancestors that they know nothing about and the rest of it you know what let's get into this video privilege and racist attitude real quick here sweetie so spirituality is not subject to one race i'm sorry to burst your bubble but the black community oh pumpkin seed no spice you really end up as kind of aggressive and scary did you mix up your racist sugar with your booger sugar again i know they're both white am i right <laughs> simple mistake to make now listen i know you feel like me trying to hold the white community accountable for sometimes approval spiritual concepts that belong to POC, those of us that are not inherently enemies of the sun, is locking you guys into one practice or maybe even shutting you out when my goal was to challenge the white community and culture to maybe dig a little bit deeper to have those tough and hard conversations with some of those ancestors that were not so nice to black people in order to move forward in your spiritual progress i thought i was being helpful but maybe i wasn't and i also saw some of your comments i know need to know before they start a spiritual journey number one your racist ass ancestors are still racist just because they're dead does not mean they are good people now and this is not just to berate y'all but this is more so to help y'all because some of y'all may be wondering why you're not getting any answers or any responses because you keep trying to consult a puritan because you believe you're the daughter of a witch that didn't fucking burn but in actuality you're the descendants of the motherfuckers that burn the witches and i really want y'all to understand that because y'all be booking me and y'all be looking so fucking confused like jasmine why do my ancestors not want to work with me you wear all black you have Hecate around your neck, you have face piercings, and you're gay. I'm just <laughs> they're scared. Number two, you were not black in a past life, nor do you have access to the ancestors that you believe were black. You're white. You're white. And I think it's really funny that white people only want to integrate when it comes to spirituality. Because it's the only way y'all could gain access to some shit that's not yours is to pretend that it belonged to all of us. Now y'all want to share. <laughs> and last but not least, to the white women that are working with the Norse gods, there are so many gods within the pantheon. I need y'all to stop choosing loki thor odin frey the gods of the aesir which are known to be violent because a lot of your gods are stolen gods which means the concepts of your gods are evergord they're ideas that have energy invested until so they came to life like santa claus with that being said think about the type of men who invested energy into these gods they graped and they pillaged for fun so y'all be calling on loki you feel connected to thor odin and 
and Frey for what? I know a white woman's gonna be like, but Frey was actually the god of peace. He was also the god of good fortune. So they would leave sacrifices in his name to help them when they went raiding. And for them, it wasn't just about the livestock or the land or even the potential of jewels that they might obtain. It was also about the people, the slaves, more often than not, women that they would rape. So let's not act like the Christian god is the only one that makes space in their loving nature for bullshit. Upset the white folks, so let's try this again. White people, I'm going to say something spiritually controversial. Your cognitive dissonance will deactivate your critical thinking the moment that you feel triggered. Nobody is trying to offend you, but since y'all found yourselves upset, let's try and self-reflect. Yesterday, I said three things that I feel white people should know about the spiritual journey. Number one, your racist-ass ancestors are still racist, lest I set that. Nobody said all your ancestors are racist. I said your racist-ass ancestors are still racist. And y'all jumped in my comments saying, I'm Slavic. What the fuck that got to do with anything? <laughs> those of you specifically north american white people who know some of your ancestors weren't right white people y'all are not exempt from doing ancestor work just because you have racist ass ancestors that's part of the ancestor work going through your ancestry and figuring out who these people were but in that same measure not all of them were racist but not all of them were practicing witches so when y'all go asking them questions and trying to consult with them they may not be the people that you want to talk to because they don't have the answers sway our mutual laura had a different take now laura said it is our job as a practitioner when working with the dead to identify the racist ancestor to help the client identify yes that's the racist ancestor then to look past that avatar because at the core of all of our beings we are just love i disagree respectfully though only because in that what if it's not racist what if it's that their ancestor is a scientist but they don't know this ancestor they've never heard of them they may even be adopted me telling them that their ancestor is a scientist or a racist is not always going to help them identify that oh yes that's the ancestor also at the core of all of our beings i don't believe that we are all just love i don't believe that source is all just love and i know that's a really icky concept a lot of spiritualists don't like to dive into because it doesn't give us a happy ending good and bad are subjective we only decide if something is good or bad based off how it's affecting us if i went on to say white people you were not black in the past life and that really pissed y'all off i didn't say y'all don't reincarnate as different races and ethnicities that's what you heard because you were upset what i'm saying is i don't believe in past lives because i believe that time is not linear and most of you believe that time is not linear so how can you identify that this is what came before and this is what is to come after i believe all points of time are already within a space you just may not be in that space to be able to view said time it is to me the concept from interstellar the tesseract which is really the akashic records it is the jeremy bear me from the good place it is everything everywhere all at once all these timelines are actively happening the problem with y'all thinking that this is a past life is most of y'all are not seeing these past lives through first person perspective meaning eyes viewing outward you are seeing with an aerial view or like a fly on the wall which means you might actually be oversighting the gift whole time you think i'm being bitchy trying to close you out i'm trying to get you to see something larger are you sure that you don't have the ability to see the threads being woven some of you might just be getting an aerial view of somebody else's life you're just peering in like remote viewing you think because you saw a black woman breastfeeding a baby in what looks like 2700 bc that that gives you the right to practice voodoo whole time she ain't worship nothing and if she did it may have been the three-footed rabbit this is why i'm trying to tell your white people simply being black in a past life doesn't really benefit you in this lifetime and even if you were you don't have access to those black ancestors because that's a different lifetime so just focus on this one to my last point all i said was when working with the gods of the norse pantheon don't choose the gods of the aesir and y'all said oh so we just shouldn't be spiritual at all I said in that same video, there are gods of the vineyard, the gods of nature, the gods of the forest, the peaceful gods. But I've seen y'all taking specific Viking rituals because all Norwegian people were not Viking, but y'all have taken Viking rituals, which they used normally before they went to war. And y'all have co-opted that as just pagan practice, like all the gods of the vineyard would approve and they would not. So this is all I got from this video and this also like you know reminds me of some certain things that happen like you know some of them always like they say you know they always say that uh, black people uh, do not want to include them in their spiritual practices and all of that so that some culture are supposed to be shared 
but the reality is that there are some things that are not supposed to be shared especially when it comes to spirituality and all of that that when it is not for you it is not for you and when it is not for you you do not have to start sneaking around to know if this is for you or if it is not for you just do not bother if it is not for you and uh i have seen a lot of them also wanting to be in a space where they are not supposed to be you know there is something that i found out about some people like especially pop colored people that they feel like when they are not in a particular like you know, if they want to be in a place and they are not there they can't feel left out and they feel like you know the world is because you know you all know that uh it's really been all about them everything is all about them so for that reason we should always be involved in everything and the rest of it that was how somebody uh someone you all remember the pop color woman that someone i think uh i can't remember the name but i think it's jamaican or haitian this thing that kind of um somehow on the light or and i also remember somebody picking up or reach out from the mountain and uh people like you know you know i have seen a whole lot of them uh how they just want to be in a space where they are not and i am going to say this one more time please everywhere is not meant for you i mean there are some spirituality or uh places that you are not supposed to be and i love the fact that she how she actually came out to educate and let a lot of people know also more about our spiritual being with open mind because some people do not under if you are triggered or something it is not it is just you that like, i have the problem and all that so well spoken and the rest of it so if you have a problem and you feel like you are not i want you to know that um some spaces are supposed to be closed like close practices and um you cannot connect to what you do not know about and some of them summon ancestors that they know nothing about you know so that's all i have to say let me know what you all think in the comment section see you all in my next video bye for now